cars for a burglary in progress. They're trying to kick in a back window. So it was a totally normal day. I was just riding um, District 1 impact car with my partner, Officer Burke, and the call comes out for a burglary in progress, and it was like right around the corner from where we were at. So we're the first ones to show up on the scene. We talked to a victim. Two males tried to break into his house. I'm clear. It looks like the suspects are westbound through the alley. All I've got currently is two Hispanic males. Did a couple laps around the block and looked down an alley and saw these two guys creeping down the alley looking into somebody's backyard. So I was like, all right, this is kind of suspicious. So we pulled down the alley. We're going to stop him, pull up right behind him, uh, jump out of the car, and the guy uh, on the right takes off running. Hispanic male just ran out the front. So Officer Burt grabbed the guy that stayed, and I took off after the first guy. Okay, I got him running. It's going to be southbound, just east of Lowell. Ran out down the street and uh, ran down Lowell trying to cut this guy off. And so then I did run into him. Okay, I got him right here, Moncrief and Lowell. As soon as he saw me, I could tell it was different. He changed his face, changed his posture, changed. Um, and he puffed up, and he just locked eyes with me and started kind of made a beeline right at me. I was running towards him. He, was, he started to like speed up and walk real fast right at me with his eyes on me. So I remember looking at his eyes for a second and then quick I looked down and I saw, oh, he has a gun in his right hand. And so like right then it was like, well, game changed. It was very clear to me that his, his intention was to kill me, to get away. There was no doubt in my mind. It was 100% aggressive attack mode he was in. Any good police officer, you, you prepare for this to happen. I didn't stop to think about it. I knew right away he was trying to kill me. A lot of stuff races through your head, but that was it immediately. I have to get him before he gets me. So I just started running straight at him. Okay, 82 out of my been shot. There's a purple state southbound on Lowell. Shot fire. At some point, one of his rounds got me in my left ankle, and I knew right away that I was shot, but it wasn't you know, a critical injury or anything. So ran for the closest cover, which was a car. Right about that time, my other partner, Mike Clark, was coming up the street, and he saw this happen, and so he realized he was, you know, had another officer engaging him, and so he, he took off and headed in a different direction, so may, may well have saved my life. I jumped up and tried to run after him, and I was able to run uh, maybe 20 feet, and my leg was, my foot just wasn't working. And so he runs down Lowell, he carjacks a lady at gunpoint. Ends up driving down the street, firing rounds at officers out of the car. And he's intentionally trying to kill cops, and he clearly has an extreme disregard for the value of any human life at this point. Uh, we're going westbound 36 from Federal. Still got the gun in his hand. Still got the gun in his hand. We did make a suspect. We need contact cover here. Suspect down. Clear on that, 35th and low, ambulance code 10, suspect down, 1347. So at the end of the situation, uh, this suspect was killed. Uh, the other suspect that was with him was taken into custody without incident. Uh, after the fact, we find out that um, they are burglars. The gun that he shot me with was stolen in a burglary, and they were both uh, parolees. They were on ankle monitors at the time. They were able to trace their movements back and connect them to multiple burglaries. Police officers, I think we all know that it can end in a second. And I know that because of my partners, you know, I will go home at the end of every day. That's how we get through, that's how we survive, is knowing that through our training and through the people that we are, the values that we have and that we are fighters and that we are survivors. Every day I think about how fortunate I was in that situation that I was able to walk away. I'm still here and, and grateful for that.